Good, Good morning. morning, Bon Beanie from Curacao. We're here. It's beautiful out there. <laughs> we actually got here early. Our arrival time was supposed to be 1 p.m. They came on at like 11.30 and said, honk, honk, you can get off. We were up in the gym working out, yeah. watching the sail in. And we're here on an overnight, mm. so that's pretty rare. We were supposed to go to Bonaire uh, when we originally booked the cruise, but yeah. that changed. So, lots of time in Curacao. <laughs> yeah, back on board time is 10.30 p.m. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So you can stay all night off the ship if you feel like it, I guess. Which is cool. Our plan for the day, though, is to go have some pampered relaxation at Sandals. Now, you know, we went to one Sandals before, mm -hmm. and it was luxurious, and we are ready for some more of that. It was really nice, yeah. So this is one of the newer properties uh, in mm. the Sandals family. It's Sandals Royal Curacao. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about 30 minutes away from the port. The so Mega Pier. We'll show you how the taxi thing works and all that, but we're super excited. Mm -hmm. So let's roll and yeah. sandal. I got to pack my sandals. Anyway, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Ooh, we're staying on the same floor as the Neptune Lounge. They got snacks in there, y'all. Anyway, we don't have access to that, so <laughs> let's keep rolling. Let's peek in this window too. Nobody's in there, so I'm not too much of a creeper. <laughs> a little bit, a little, a little bit. bit. <laughs> well, the gangway is deck A midship, which is accessed from, well, deck one here through the art gallery. Well, welcome to Curacao. That's where all the tours are being. Ah, tours over there. We're gonna proceed across this little bridge and find the taxi zone. All that souvenir shopping here at the Mega Pier. Oh, yeah, we'll just follow signs for taxis. Thank you. All right, we found the giant taxi booth and off we go. They don't have any posted rates, so you just get your price as you show up. Sandals. Well, we just got all checked in. We got the briefing as to dining and all of that. A little property map that we can study. Nice. Yeah, let's explore. Oh, it's a good day today. A little resort shop. Oh, they have like, are you narwhals? A little, yep, uh-huh. <laughs> I don't think you see those in Curacao. Yeah, probably not. What can we learn on this digital coffee table? That's kind of fun. What are you playing with? It's like games. It's like games and stuff, yeah. Animal. Oh, oh like you animals. love animals. <laughs> what did you do today? Well. Oh no, a memory game. Um, <gasps> there was a cat. <laughs> or, <laughs> well, we've come down some stairs now, found our way to ground level. I see a pool, I see an ocean. Gorgeous. I see bikes, which I don't know how to ride. <laughs> There's kind of a little rundown of all the restaurants. They have a lot of different cuisines going on here. I think that's kind of like a little calm pool with a bar. I hear some activities kicked up in this direction. There's towels. All the little seating elements and stuff. We walked by a little, uh, like a fire pit, charcoal fire pit thing earlier. Let's come find this pool. Well, first of all, let's learn why this pool rules. No running or horseplay, all right. Oh, plant, plants, plants got in the way. Oh, there's like a lower pool that has a swim up bar, like an upper sort of infinity. What in the world? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna camp out on this little fixture. That's awesome. Get in some water. Let's start here on the lower level, which is connected to the swim up bar, shall we? Okay. The water temperature is downright pleasant. Okay. Welcome to the Southern Caribbean where the pool water is much warmer. That is so cool. Oh gosh, I forgot that's got like a big glass wall. You can see the folks in there swimming from above, which I will try to remember should we go up there. <laughs> yeah. Let's head over toward this lovely structure here to the right. Well, they said in about two minutes they're going to be doing a Blue Curacao mixology. I don't know if that's a demonstration or what's happening. Here is the actual pool bar menu. Okay, we have two judges. They're collecting four bartenders one and more. three now, judges. <laughs> you're the only one left, okay? Well, Dia's gone with a strawberry vodka spritz. I decided to get their Buffalo Soldier, which has a Scotch bonnet pepper blended in it. So this has actual fresh strawberries, Ooh. cranberry, vodka, and like soda water. It might be the best drink I've ever had. It's fresh strawberries, which are amazing. Wow. You have to make a drink 
and it has to have blue curacao. Okay. We're gonna have a stroll out to this infinity wall. Oh man! Let's take a peek out at the beach. A little wavy today. Not too bad. It looks nice and sandy. Could be some little rocky. Actually, there's a drop off out there. It looks like you can pretty see close to how, shore. How dark it gets. Uh huh. All that dark part. Yeah. yeah this drink is delicious. All right, she's gonna try my buffalo soldier. Excuse, I'm scared. excuse the noise in the background from this fun competition. Yeah. It, it's, got, it's got it's got a little zing. Oh, there it is. It's like. Right there and the sides of my tongue. Scotch bonnet, y'all. Yeah, that was fun though. It's okay. like, surprise! <laughs> All right, I'll trade you back now. Yeah, yeah, I'm not drinking that. This is good. Well, the mixology tasting portion has begun. <laughs> they made some interesting uh, sounding beverages up there. Well, we're on the move over to a quieter part of the pool now. The contest has ended. Funny, they said that they were going to make like a few of the winner's drinks and let you get them. So I went over there and ordered one, but it was a joke. They were joking. Yeah. He was just kidding. So you went with an Aperol spritz and I got a blackberry fizz. <laughs> Now, we'll just chill out over here for a while. What are you doing? I'm doing spin footage around you right now. Oh, okay. Cool. This is amazing. My friends in the little pool. Oh, man, they're making like beverages My over here and trying to start a party. I see you as well. My entertainment team, they're here kicking up a storm while the management team is whooping up a storm. A dance class going on, sort of a follow the leader, I think. Whatever you see them do, you do. Maybe it's an exercise class in disguise. Yeah. Like water. Once again, we got the good drink going around. The next move, you do your hands like this, and we go lean to the right, and we go lean to the left. Oh, they broke out the cha cha slide. That's just not fair. <laughs> yeah, stop it before the how low can you go. That's actually smart for the pool. Oh, Cupid. <laughs> oh, what are we mixing in next? See where we're going. Just when I was wondering, I hear him mixing the wobble in with 50 cents yeah. now. So you gotta wobble. Oh, man. Well, we will wobble even if nobody else does. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot afford to miss that tonight at nine o'clock. We get to you on Carnival Show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to reserve your seating for tonight's show, well, we've come back out to the infinity wall now to look at the beach. Interestingly enough, there is a sign out there that says no swimming beyond this point. So maybe this is not their swimming beach, question mark? Yeah, I don't know if they have a swimming beach, but anyway, we figured with the waves, we were just going to enjoy the pool today. But I guess that's a good decision. Well, let's motivate back to land mode. So from the pool, we are going to seek out what should be kind of like a food truck court. They have like a collection of three food trucks, one of which has Curacao specific food, which sounds exciting. Yeah. There they have shuffleboard, which I always confuse with hopscotch for some reason, but that is definitely <laughs> shuffleboard. Those are very different things. <laughs> Just look at this property though. Beautiful. Quiet pool, food trucks, and one of their restaurants this way. Yes, please. They've got like swim out suites over there. They have their own private pool. All right, this is the food truck area. Hey, little friend. Yeah, he just came out of nowhere and uh, frightened the heck out of D. I should have been recording that. That was funny. Anyway, I think Toteki is the Caribbean food. Kishi says bow bowls and curries. I'm not sure what the other one is, but we'll find out. So let's start with Toteki because I think that is where I'm gonna wanna eat today. <laughs> 
Oh, I see. Strip loin, barbecue pork. Oh, they have croquetten. <laughs> Chili dog. Oh, there is a QR code for all the menus. I'm not sure if it works off of resort Wi-Fi, but hey, there it is, just in case. Ooh, there's the kishi menu. So we got like chicken teriyaki, tempura shrimp. All right, so we got sort of Asian style stuff happening here. Okay, this last truck is La Palma. That is Latin fare. Well, I have made my way around to all three trucks just to try a little bit of something from everywhere. They've got a bar over there. Um, the first thing has actually already arrived, which was from the tapas menu. It was a shrimp dish. It's from the Asian truck, we ordered two different types of bao. One is a teriyaki, one is a fried shrimp, and then, oh, a curry bowl. And from the Curacao truck, I got some croquetten as well as a barbecue pork sandwich with fries. I like this little booth arrangement over here by the food trucks. Anyway, I think we're gonna seek out the quiet pool that I've seen advertised on various signs. We'll hang a right. Y'all, I think we have done it. Oh, it's a quiet pool, look at that. Well, they've got towels over here. What is this whole thing? They've got some glasses and some coolers because there's not a bar over here that I'm aware of. Well, Cokes and wine and sodas. What's up here? Oh, ice. Golf course out there. There's a lot of golf courses on Curacao from what we've seen. Look at this thing though. This is like a little bed that is shaped like a heart. Here, let's see if I can move around so we can see the heart shape better. Oh my gosh, y'all come here and get your Instagram on or your Tic Tac or whatever the heck you wanna do. Mm. Well, bartender D, what are you serving up today? I mean, that's what I'm saying. They got champagne and wine, sodas, beers. This seems dangerous. Yeah, we no, talked to some, right. some, <laughs> some other guests and they said basically they just refill this over the course of the day. There's bottles of water. You just do what you want so they don't have to Chardonnay. really stock a bartender over here. You know what I mean? I think it's all Chardonnay. Well, the folks that were in the pool have retired from swimming, so I guess this is our quiet pool for now. They have a ledge. Oh my gosh, they have steps and a ledge. This is amazing. <laughs> Well, that's just about as relaxed as you can be, I think. No, <laughs> y'all, I'm the one who poured the yeah, wine, mm. so do not look at my, like, triple pour over there. I was like, but. sir, I'm not trying to, like, yeah, <laughs> not remember who I am, so I'm <laughs> good. I stand corrected. Clearly, you can be more relaxed. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Now, if you are wondering why I am out here squinting in the sun, it's not because I forgot how to beach or pool this time. My faithful superstar sunglasses, after three years of service, have decided that one of the temples wanted to break. So they no longer sit comfortably on my face. And since they are prescription, I'm going to wait until we get home, order some more. I might order some just like what I had because I liked them. They were fancy, they had little stars on them. So anyway, I'm out here squinting. I mean, I could wear them, but they're crooked and they feel weird. So I'll just squint for now. Well, we had a couple of folks that were still hanging out here in their chairs, but it is completely abandoned now. We own this pool. It's truly a quiet pool. Although it was quiet before, this is so serene and beautiful. <laughs> But you know the advantage of owning the pool is you also own the cooler. So we have gone and got bottles of water. I got a bottle of Coke Zero. We are in business, okay? It's pretty sweet setup, honestly. Yeah, I like it. Y'all, we just learned something new. Some guests here at the resort have taught us that there is a button that makes chats come on That's in this amazing. giant pool. Wow. Only on one side. That side is still like calm and quiet. But um, it now you have. Really, it's like a free massage oh. free bubbly tub that's really nice actually you know i forgot to do a taxi update i was gonna do it from the other pool but we got so excited with the dance class and the mixology and all that stuff i totally forgot so it was 60 dollars per way to get here now the taxi rates they didn't have a sheet uh to see but it was up to four people in a vehicle for 60 total dollars so if you can find four people you can break it down and share the cost or whatever but it was just two of us so sixty dollars here and sixty dollars back now i believe double check me on this that if you walk all the way down past all of those little tents out the security gate you can probably find you know, my coke bottle just fell in the pool but it's empty you can probably find uh, taxi rates that are less than that maybe but we tend to like to want to do the ones that are inside the port complex a because it's easy and b 
I feel like they're like, you know, maybe more heavily regulated, but it might not always be the smartest monetarily. So maybe if in the comments, let me know your experience. Have you gone outside and looked for taxis in Curacao versus the price of the big taxi tent here in Curacao? Yeah, you know, Deke's smartwatch is mean. We were just, we literally just had do, <laughs> we're doing some uh, water running around the pool. Yeah. And her watch is like, take 130 something more steps. I mean, we I'm just. On it. <sighs> watch, calm down, okay? Yeah, we decided to be weird a minute ago in an unvlogged moment and just see how fast we could run in the pool. Weird things happen when you're not recording. So we decided to just go end to end. We ran back and forth like six times from one end of the pool to the other. That was hard, okay? That's a lot of resistance in the water. Did you get your steps yet? I don't know. Oh my gosh, watch. I feel like you're lighter in the water, so it doesn't count as fast. But I'm definitely not Who knows? I feel like you've done 300 by now. I don't know. We'll probably count it. I mean, for the day, I've done 9,000, so. Oh, man. But we worked out this morning. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's getting close to sunset. The lights in the pool have come on. Does this mean, is this like the cops, like the blue lights? We need to get out of the pool. Do we need to know something? Never. <laughs> Never. We're going to be here forever. It's so nice. It's beautiful out here. Oh, it's almost quarter after six and they are cleaning up the bar setup. So we are closed. Oh, the sun is creeping ever closer to the horizon. Dee says she saw a cruise ship out there. Actually, I might give her the camera and let her see what she can see. Okay, so over here is some of the golf course. Really pretty. And then out here, do not know if you guys can see it at all. But there is a cruise ship right there. I think it's Piano Britannia. And then of course the sun is setting and it's gorgeous. And then there's all this beautiful foliage. It is a perfect evening in Curacao. and giant cactus as well. Well, the time has finally come. We have to return to land mode. Well, our sunset is sort of behind some clouds. That's probably about as much sunset as we're gonna get today, but that's gorgeous. Now it is time to say goodbye to our glorious pool and locate some dinner. It was so, so nice. I think since we're on this side of the world, we passed by Aeolos. I don't know if I said that correctly, but it's the Mediterranean concept. I'm good with that. We love Mediterranean food, so I think well, let's just wander over there. There it is. It's very open and breezy in here. There is our menu for the evening. We have metze, we have big plates, and we have desserts. They have started us off with some bread and some garlic butter and hummus. Oh, the appetizers are up. Dee has gone with a Greek salad and octopus. Wow. I got a wedge salad, of course, because it comes with gorgonzola. Heck yeah. And spanakopita, which is spinach inside like phyllo dough. Oh, we've had a cat spotting. Oh, it's gone. Wow. Oh, he's back. This cat is smart. It knows where the food is. For Maine's, D has got the sea bass. You're keeping that seafood theme going. <laughs> I got the beef, sort of a braised beef option, I guess. Hello, little kitty friend. We are watching you. I know you want some beef and or fish. Smart. For dessert, D has gone with the olive oil cake. I guess kind of a citrus cake. I went baklava. Oh, we're looking for D's cat, but it <laughs> ran away while we were eating dessert. Well. There'll be more. Hey y'all, hey. it is nighttime. I'm gonna turn a flashlight on. <laughs> it's don't fall down the steps. It's kind of dark. There we go. <laughs> we're making our way up to the lobby area now. 
Oh, this is Canal. Now, this place turns into like a cheese and wine bar after dark. It's a cafe in the daytime. Well, they do have cheese in here. We might be too early for wine and cheese hour. Coffee, ice cream. Oh gosh, at some point they have Stroop waffles. I see that on the menu. Wow, all sorts of pastries up here though. Well, I have come away with a fresh Stroop waffle. She cut it, baked it, caramelized it and everything right in front of me. That's amazing. And Dee has got Rocket Road ice cream. My favorite. And now back up to the main lobby. We are watching the daily activity schedule on the TV as we wait for our taxi. Today is Monday, so our schedule should be coming up. There it is. Yeah, Blue Curacao Mixology. They had a carnival show tonight and karaoke. What the heck? Too bad we have to go. <laughs> There is our ride. We have made it back to the Mega Pier. Oh, let's go through security. Yep. All the shops have closed down for the evening. We're getting all these glorious views of the ship lit up at night. Wind our way back past this souvenir shopping area. Be good to go. Home sweet home. Whee! We have come back to the cabin to find our paperwork for tomorrow and of course breakfast room service delivery card which we might use. Hmm. Good, good night. night. We are back on the ship and in the cabin but the ship is not a moving. No we are here till 10 30 tomorrow night. So it was a lovely, long, relaxing day, even though we didn't get into like, well, we didn't get off the ship till about one, but That's it's like true. 10 now, I think. Yeah. Rarely do we have a nice little <laughs> port day in the dark. It's always interesting coming back in like a taxi in the dark and seeing the city and the ship and just Beautiful. being like, oh, it really is. You're kind of afraid you've missed it though. <laughs> You're like, is the ship still there? Oh yeah, it's there all day. That no, was good. Yeah. So how was your sandals pampering experience? So nice. <laughs> It was a lovely option. It is very pricey. It just is. so you guys are aware, um, I think it's like three, three thirty a yeah, person. Yeah, I'll link the thing in the description. Yeah, um, I was there as a travel agent, obviously checking out the property. Mm -hmm. um, so if you guys want to do it, it's it's an awesome option, especially if you have like a like a longer evening or mm. something like that, because they offer like three different options. Um, but yeah, no, it was a fantastic. I would definitely go back there and stay mm. for sure. Yeah, true. Beautiful property. Food good overall. I love the stuff mm -hmm. from the food truck. A lot of the stuff was spicy as Very we learned. Very spicy. <laughs> Ooh la la. Dinner was good. I would say neither one of us had like stellar desserts. My um, baklava was like a little mushy. You expect some texture, a little bit of crunch crunch in there, and it was just kind of mush. I think mine had like a lot of mint in it. It was something very ah. herbally kind of like tasting. But the food itself was absolutely delicious. That was like the second best octopus I've ever had. Uh oh. I know. Other than Portugal. Yeah. And the fish was amazing. And then to top it off, Rocky Red mm -hmm. ice cream at the coffee shop. So. And Stroop waffle. Yeah. It was just such a lovely day, honestly. Yeah. Now, bedtime, because you know what? We have more Curacao tomorrow, and we are doing um kind of a good amount of stuff. We're doing yep. an organized tour tomorrow, so. It's going to be good. Come back for that. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night.